I say Lemon Kitten deals with. <laughs> I'm Phil Donald Duck left. So in today's video, I decided to make a server for a hundred of you, but this time it had a twist. Now this wasn't any normal server, this was a parkour server. Condescents had to race climbing up the spiral tower trying to get to the top, but the top was not actually the final goal. Somewhere hidden around the tower was a little bit of paper that once someone found it, they won a free laptop. Free for no money. The person who found the paper was going to get themselves one of these Legion laptops, which actually is the sponsor of today's video. Legion make a bunch of state-of-the-art gaming PCs and laptops for various prices. So if you want to get your game on, check it, link in the description below. Get your hands on one of these. This is what I use whenever I travel or I'm away from my computer. I can use this to also play games and film videos. While we were also waiting for people to find the paper, it also delved into just some general chaos. I was rating people's skins. I was seeing how people, people could survive things. It was just, it was just a chaotic time. But the video was filmed live over at twitch.tv slash esmajor, so make sure to follow me there if you want to see when I do these type of things and other streams over there. But with that out of the way, let's get into the video. I'm going to wait until there's a hundred of you in here and then we will turn it on. If we have a look here, this is what you are trying to scale. You have to make yourself all the way around up these different parkour areas, all while finding your way to the very top. Now, as I said, it is hidden somewhere. I'm not saying where. It could be hidden right down there. It could be hidden right up there. It could be, see this little bit that seems weird and it sticks out the island? It could be there. I'm not going to say where it is though. But yeah, oh wait, is this the, yeah, made by Hilke. This person, they made it. So, are you all ready? I think it's time we open the floodgates. Oh, Flash Crimson was our first person and they're off. Look at them all go already. Wild. Now, like I've said before, make sure to check everywhere. As you can see, Gaming Star is checking everywhere in this one, which is actually fairly smart. Nicholas is already off. Speeding ahead, not looking around, does not care. Remember, there's no prize for finishing the tower first. The prize comes from finding the, the token. The top three spaces, there's not much between them. See, Flash is now stopping to look, which is smart. I would recommend. I feel like Nicholas and Pike are just on another mission. They're away just doing their own thing. They're just trying to finish. Like, they're seeing who can finish first. They're playing for pride, not the laptop. Now people are just murdering each other in the lava. Wild. There's going to be little ideas like this where people bottleneck because they fail the jump. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> our error is they were going for a swim <laughs> they were like someone throw me a rope now there are checkpoints if you stand in the gold thing as a checkpoint nicholas is literally he oh now he's looking he's like having very quick glimpses oh pike made the jump pike's off the checkpoints don't work they worked for me yesterday extra hard mode guys if you die you're right back at the start good luck this is a 1300 dollar laptop we ain't playing it easy <laughs> Death is inevitable, exactly. That is brutal. There's only a few days where you can die. Just be better, guys, come on. I can see him like stopping to have a little look, like there's still so much of this tower left. My only word of advice I would give to the people far ahead, slow down, maybe have a look because you might have passed it. I'm not saying you have, I'm just saying you might have. Whereas you have all these people down here who are doing it a little bit slower and kind of going around as a squad. But they're figure out, they're having a look. They're seeing where they need to go. Guys, oh, Ellie. <laughs> oh, guys. <laughs> it's as simple as this. It's just, just this. Look at you all figuring it out now. <laughs> guys, wanna do a thing where if someone donates a certain amount of bits, I'll just TP the first player. I'll just slash kill them and see where it sets them back to. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> People in first start sprinting back like, no. <laughs> The ants have spread. We're happy. The ants are figuring out. They're making their way. There's Nicholas. He is slowed down. He is looking properly now. Checking every nook and cranny. I'd say he's having a good look, but he's not being as thorough as he should be. Just like Pike's falling behind a little bit, but I think Pike is being as thorough as I think Nicholas should be. <laughs> Scott, it only makes sense that you put a note in the later part because you want a longer stream. Okay, sure. You think you know how my chaotic brain works. Play into that. That will be your downfall. 
Do you think I do anything with logic? What point in my life have I ever done anything that would let you believe that I have something up here? <laughs> oh, more people are catching up. I have no idea where Nicholas is. He went into the cave and just never came out. Was he just eaten by a cave? Hello? I want to swear so bad. I'm gonna swear. I'm gonna do it. We're all stuck here. Y'all are just bat. What do Why would you think that was the way you were to do it? Why would you ever think that was the way to do it? Guys, there's it, get, like, guys, there's a literal cactus in and then up here. It's it's not hard. Maybe Nicholas left. Rip Nicholas. Oh, see, this is the fun bit because this one has lots of houses that I would recommend checking. If you have not already, there's lots of chests. <laughs> Maybe give me a laptop, then I can find the note without lag. <laughs> what are you doing, Maxi? Oh, okay, it's a little bit here. Is me not knowing where you go for part of the map an indicator that it's not this high up? Because I obviously did it to where I the note. Was that a mistake? Yeah, I don't I don't remember any of this. Oh, Maxi is off. Maxi seems to just know where he's going. You know that way where I'm like, I'm doing a giveaway, I need to be fair. But then part of me also just wants to slash kill all for the lols, just to see what happened. Do it you want. <laughs> Guys, I need to be somewhat fair. There's a competition going on. Can you imagine if MCC in the middle of MCC had just slash killed everyone? And that's a tournament where the prize is a small meaningless coin. Maxi is just off on one. Okay, pop off Maxi. What? I've never seen this part. Oh wait, I, th I was just destroying all of my pumpkins. Okay, Maxi. Ruining my hard work in this little house that I definitely built. Oh, Max is so close to the top. Damn. Evelyn. Hello. Where are we going, Evelyn? What are we doing? I wonder, where do you come up the top? There. And you run over here, and then when you get here, you're done. And then I slash kill. <laughs> Randomly teleport to people and rate their skin. <gasps> oh my goodness, wait. What if we turn it into like a partial skin contest where I teleport to people and I don't like their skin and slash kill them? Pandorix found it. TP to Pandorix. Pandorix, you've not found it. You know what, Pandorix? For that one, you're getting kill. That's what you get. I was kidding. Well, now you're dead. So, right, people like the idea of like a skin contest. Okay, we're gonna start with lemon. Lemon, please stop. Okay, stand still. Let me view the skin. It's cute. It's a little bit too similar to Tubbles. You know, I'm just feeling like it could use a little bit more originality. And like, it's cute. I will give it a five out of ten. Simply Tangerine. Okay, very cute. Again, I like the Snorlax hoodie, but again, not super original. But the hair, very cute. You don't have shoes on though. Oh no, yeah, no, you don't. You just have like knee high socks. Not very practical for, you know, surviving. But I will give you a seven. Sasquatch, hello, time for your skin rating. Okay, see, Sasquatch is like ready to survive. Like she's got the shawl on one shoulder, she's got the strap, she has shoes. They are sandals though. Not sure how practical they are, but I'm kind of getting like a desert dweller vibe, so like maybe they do make sense. I wish there was just another colour, I'm a fan of like a pop of colour, but very cute skin, I'll give it an 8. What's the fireworks? I think someone finished it. Someone finished the map, but I don't think anyone found it yet. Hand, let's have a look at your skin. Okay. Cute skin, love the scarf. I can't see much of your face. Also, I'm trying to work out if it's pants or a pants suit because the texture just kind of blends onto one. So I'm not seeing a differentiation between where the pants stop and the top starts. But very cute, I do like a pop color, which pink suit is, it really does scream up there. So I'm gonna say an eight out of 10, an eight out of 10. Well, let's go and rate the winner's skins. Evelyn, let me have a look. Okay, cute. I like the vibe. I like the kind of mixed high, knee high socks, little shorts, kind of hoodie. The one almost robot kind of dark eye. It's a vibe. I'm into it. A little off the shoulder. Okay, cute. I also like the hair. It's very cute. Does it go down? Is it really? Does it go inside your shorts is what I'm trying to figure out. Uh, Maxi, go away. This is not your moment. Why is it always men trying to make it about them? Does that go through your shorts? As I'm trying to figure it out. Like it kind of looks like it goes under, like it's strapped under your top. Which not the most practical. Because like everything you set in that, it would like tug. I'm going to give it a seven. Those are hair ties. Ma'am, how many hair ties does she need? It's the same, that's not hair ties. It's the exact same colour as her top. Stop trying to gaslight me. 
Who's our next victim? Love how I stop people from competing for a $1,300 laptop just to be like, let me rate your skin. Hello, Grace. Let me have a rate. Okay. Cute. Kind of a koala going on. Get a little twirl. Okay, I like it. I like the ripped jeans. They're cute. You know, again, very cute. Very similar and reminiscent of when I had a Totoro skin, as you all know. The only issue I have is just it. I like a colourful skin. That's personal preference. I said I used to have the Totoro one, but it's very cute skin. I like the shading. I like the details. I'm going to give it an 8. Because, like, look, now I'm so much more bright and colourful and, like, it's fun to look at. Let's have a look at Genie. You know, I'm liking the fall vibes. You're a little bit early. You know, you're giving me very, like, autumn, like, cold October morning, kind of, like, waking up with fluffy slippers on, grey sweat pants, just, like, a tank top with a flannel thrown over it. That kind of, like, oh, I'm just naturally really, really pretty, and, like, I just naturally rolled out of bed looking like this. Those kind of vibes, which, like, I love that for you, Jeannie. 10 out of 10. Great, like, vibe in general. We are in summer, so you're a little bit early. You know, maybe crop the sweatpants into, like, crop sweatpants shorts, but... It does work. It's a vibe. I'm going to say it's an 8. 9s and 10s are for like never been seen before, super original, super unique. You know what? Wait, who have we got here? Spectre is a goner. Well, that's in my nightmares tonight, actually. I'm going to give that one a 2. The two points are because the smiley face was a kind of cute gradient colour. Okay, pink lasagna. I see what we've got. We've got the shades on the head. The hair is a little bit bright. I'm seeing a lot of flat colouring. Don't know whether that was an artistic choice or you didn't know how to shade, which is fair enough. I don't, because, well, so you've done a little bit of shading around the mouth and the neck, but then, like, the cardigan and the legs are just, like, flat. First time creating a skin. I do like the sunglasses. The sunglasses are very good. It's very unique, which I like. This is what I mean. It doesn't look like one that you've just taken. I said it's your first time making a skin. I appreciate that effort. I am going to give you a seven. Flash Crimson. You look like you would have called me a slur in school. I think it's the shades and the hoodie and the necklace. But, you know, Panda, he's, he's not stopping to let me read him though. That's the thing. So, it's kind of hard. Sure, Crimson, you can just have a five. You know, I'll just give you a five. Pan found it and found it. Already? Pan did in fact find it. I don't know what it's got. Pan, what have you done with it? I dropped it. What do you mean you dropped it? Either way, Pan, I knew you won. I knew you got it. This is what I said, Nicholas. You should have looked. Because it was actually hidden here. But Pan is our winner. Pan really did win it. Well done. <laughs> Only took 44 minutes. Guys, I still have an hour and 15 minutes off the stream left. You all done this to me. But well done. Thank you everyone who came and played. Right, okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna play a game. I am going to judge all of your skins and then I'm gonna kill the one with the ugliest. Okay, and we'll work our way down until we have a winner. Break this so no one else joins us. This is fine. This is okay. This is fine. So, we're back to our skin competition! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the first annual skin competition. If you could all please line up along the edge of this, that would be perfect. Now, this is going purely based off of my opinions. This is not an indication of whether your skin is actually cute. Looking at what we have here, there's a lot of variation in the skins, but the first one I am going to have to ask, unfortunately, is going to have to be... Sin. There's just a lot going on. My eyes didn't to focus. Also, like... It's, there's a log. I'm sorry. Goodbye, Sin. Right, we're on to our final four. Now we have Hannah with a twist and a cute dinosaur. Hannah, can you give us a twirl? You give us a twirl? Okay. Cute. Enjoying it. You know, could you also now give us a spin? I'm liking the fact that your hair kind of matches your socks, but they're just a different shade of pink. Now, it is feeling a little bit flat in some areas. And I think it's emphasised because your hair isn't flat, but your shirt is, so it just feels a bit flat. Jaden, if you'd like to give us a spin as well. I'm enjoying this, actually. This is what I mean about colour theory. Yellow and blue go well together because they help each other stand out. You're doing this weird layering thing, which is a little bit trippy, but I'm kind of into it. And then milk with honey. Could you also give us a spin here? Again, I see that you've done shading. It's a little bit like it's comic book shading, you know, but also your hair 
kind of looks like the same texture as like pink concrete, you know? Like it kind of looks the same. So for that, you're next, I'm sorry. We're left with our final three. Unfortunately, all of your skins are great. Obviously getting up to this point, 10 out of 10, love it. But I think for me, unfortunately, the one that I'm gonna have to cut next is gonna have to be, you know, goodbye. Here we go, we're between Jade Tin and Hannah with a twist. Now both your skins, love them all. First place is gonna be my first 10 out of 10. Second place is gonna be a nine out of 10, but. I'm actually, oh, Jaden, Jaden has gone. Well, in that case, our winner is Hannah. <laughs> Whoa, Jaden just couldn't take the pressure. Jaden was like, oh, <laughs> all right. I'm gonna let you be the one to drop the TNT. You can just click that and light it up. Okay, if you wanna light it, I'll just keep placing TNT down. Oh no, you're gonna blow yourself up with that one, Hannah. Oh God, I'll save you. There we go. There we go, Hannah. Let's just keep going until we're at the center of the earth, Anna. Let's just keep going. This is, this is great. That was fun. I've enjoyed this. There's, that's your prize. You enjoy, Hannah. Okay, love that. Wait, that just gave me an idea, Hannah. Spawn mob, ender dragon. Here we go. <laughs> Spawn mob wither. Perfect. Look at them all trying to mark. <laughs> Spawn mob ender. <laughs> it's like a nick. Have I just spawned one there? <laughs> oh, I enjoy this a lot. I shouldn't find this as amusing as I do. One of them will spawn here eventually, right? There we go. Let's see if one of them hits up. <laughs> yep, one of them <laughs> I always sometimes like leaving it to see if one of them will hit it. Oh, so close, Lana. <laughs> so close. I'm enjoying this so much. <laughs> He's the one that hit it! That wasn't even me. It's like putting a big red button because they don't- it can't kill them on its own. <laughs> but someone every time punches it. Wait. Spawn. Mob. Blaze. 50. Enjoy. Let me just give you a few more actually. Let's go to the server event and do that. You know, like if I just go there and just go, and say Lemon Kitten deals with <laughs> I feel Donald Duck laughed. I feel Donald Duck laughed. Oh, you, you thought you could get away? No, no, there's more there too. Oh, hey. Besties, hashtag besties. We're gonna play a new game. This chicken is not allowed to die. If the chicken dies, I kill all of you. Okay, you know, we're just releasing Eleanor. Spawn mob, chimkin. Protect this chicken at all costs. Okay, we've got him some bees. Zori or hit a bee. He is now being murdered by the bees. Spawn mob zombie. Good luck. And then we're gonna do spawn mob blaze. Party. Tina is body blocking for this chicken right now. The chicken is living quite fine, but I'm gonna bring you the chicken's number one enemy, three foxes who are going bee lining for that chicken. It is going crazy. It's trying to get its hands on that chicken. They are now having to huddle together while dealing with the blazes and keep away the foxes. Okay, they've managed to defeat three foxes. Let's see if they can defeat five foxes. They have locked onto that poor chicken and one is gonna come up behind and got the chicken. The fox killed it. Okay, now we need to kill them all. 